Hello everyone, this is for attacker Today we will learn Red Hat Storage Server 3.0 installation that is called Type 2 installation in my first tutorial. So, we will install RHS 3.0 on a virtual machine. It is same, we can install on virtual machine, on a public cloud, and on a base machine. It's always same. Um, we just need an DHCP server to get an IP address and uh, we need a RHS 3.0 ISO file you could get from Red Hat go to the Red Hat website and uh, please take an evaluation copy of RHS 3.0 to install for uh, some trial days or you can also subscribe so please uh, select ISO file forward 1 GB RAM is sufficient 10 GB hard disk and the name should be gustrof storage so gs1 it could be anything i'm giving just gs1 and finish and this is the installation starting install or upgrade an existing system So it is booting and first it will ask uh, for network settings. It is asking for media media test. So we will skip it because we don't want to waste time. And now it is asking for IP address. So we will just press OK because it will get a IP address from DHCP then it will get an IP address from DHCP and then press next then english english and then here is a very good point uh, we should use basic storage server for partition lvm and all that but uh, here is the second option for specialized storage devices which is, which is used for ISKG storage uh, if you have any SAN network in your company then you can use the specialized storage devices okay, but we will use basic storage devices yes discard my any data here is my DNS is running so I have got an hostname next next and here is the password I am giving password red hat uh, you have provided a weak password use anyway and here it is I am going to create custom layout mm, it is very important to create a custom layout because we will we use 4 GB of hard disk to install GlustrFS and we will free 
वी विल लीव फ्री हार्ड डिस्क ऑफ एटलीस्ट सिक्स जी बी फोर आवर स्टोरेज सर्वर ओके सो नेक्स्ट आई विल जस्ट create and mount point slash boot and slash boot is enough of uh, 200 mb okay and the next is slash and it could be of at least 3 gb so i'm giving 3200 mb okay and the next is swap Okay, so for the swap, we can use one GB RAM swap or five one two MB. I think five one two MB is sufficient. So okay, and here is done. So we have leave free six G at least six GB hard disk for use. in cluster of a storage server when we will make a storage server by group of uh, computer systems then we will use this free space by making partitions okay so this is very important to understand why we have lived free space so next format mm, yes right change it to disk and it is creating file systems and mm, it is asking for install bootloader on dev sda yes next and then it is asking for manual because in the red hat storage server 3.0 there is no option of graphical or gui and all that there is only one option of minimal so we will just click on next so this was the installation of red hat storage server 3.0 and if you want to install on base machine then it is similar exactly similar just you have to make a bootable pen drive of this iso image and start installing okay and you will you have to also get a network or dhcp server to start installing red hat storage server 3.0 on a base machine i have done many times and this is exactly same so for the next tutorials we will install some uh, red hat storage servers or maybe i could use uh, type 1 installation server both are same so hope we will meet in next tutorial and thank you for watching guys subscribe our channel